Hey everyone, Jason here, aspiring entrepreneur and digital marketing consultant. And in this video, you're gonna learn a dead simple approach to staying streamlined and organized with your digital business. So if you are a freelancer, digital agency owner, or just a solopreneur getting started with this whole online business thing, this is the organization video for you. So we're gonna go through the four quadrants of a digital business system. And by the end of this video, you'll have everything you need to be streamlined and hyper productive and organized with your business. And actually, this system is the exact same system we've been using pretty consistently over the past six months after a year and a half of development, and it has virtually eliminated the two big questions you have with a virtual team. Number one, where's the file? And number two, where do I put the file? So even if you're just getting started and you don't have a team yet, this is going to be extremely helpful for laying the foundation for your future scaling and growth. So let's go ahead, jump into those four systems, and then at the end, I'll walk you through some of the productivity tools we like to use to support this system. So the four quadrants of the digital business system are team, content, sales funnel, and product. And really the purpose of these four quadrants is to help you stay organized, even if it's just you right now, and also your team stay organized so everyone has an intuitive way of figuring out and knowing where different types of files are. So the first quadrant is team, and team is where all of your training and your boring administrative and tax documents go. So inside of team, we have a couple of folders. The first folder is administrative, and that's for all the tax and legal stuff that you as the business owner have to take care of. That's something that's always just shared with you, not really shared with anybody else. The next folder we have are the individual team files. And this is where you set up a folder for each person on your team, including yourself, where you can just drop in any files that you're working on. And this is kind of like your, your personal collection box for everyone on your team, where if they're not quite sure where to put a file yet, or they're working on something that's not really to be shared with everybody else, this is where they can store their personal files. And then the next three we have are content, sales funnel, and product. And you should recognize these because these represent the other three quadrants. And this is where you store all of the training and process documents and management documents. So keep all of the stuff that we're using internally to communicate with each other and stay organized here and it doesn't get mucked up with all of the actual deliverables. And that'll make a lot more sense when we get into sales funnel and product. So the next big quadrant we have is content. And inside of content is all of the assets of your content marketing strategy. So hopefully you have some sort of content or social strategy because you actually wanna be successful with your digital marketing in 2018 and moving forward. So you should have something like a blog, a YouTube channel or Pinterest folder, Instagram or Facebook, whatever platforms you're going after, have a separate folder for each one of those inside of your content folder. And then inside of there, you can be as organized or disorganized as you like. And so this is where you actually store the physical blog posts, the physical videos, the physical Instagram posts or the physical you know, YouTube thumbnails and videos. So this is where all of the assets are. And this is also where all of the project files are. And so then you have sales funnel. And sales funnel is everything around selling your product or service. So we like to break it down by the different services and products that we offer. And so inside of there, we have all of the sales copy, the autoresponders, the advertising. So this is handles all of that sales type stuff. So what's really nice about this is if you hire a content writer, you only have to give them access to the content folder. They don't really need the product or the sales funnel folder. At the same time, if you hire a copywriter or you're someone is running your ads, all you have to do is give them access to the sales funnel folder or the sub sales funnel folder that the product or service that relates to what they're actually working on or advertising on your behalf. So as you can see, it's really, really nice to stay organized and it's really, really nice to make sure that freelancers only have access to the proper folders. Now, finally, we have the product quadrant and the product quadrant is where you keep all of the client files, where you keep all of your course files if you have a digital course or your coaching student notes. And so this is everything that has to do with actually delivering your product or service, whatever your clients or customers have paid for, that's where you have all of that information there. And so that's really all there is to it to these four quadrants. Now, one of the biggest roadblocks to getting started with this is that initial time and effort of organizing everything. And I get it, it can take a tremendous amount of time. So to help you with that, 
One of the things you can do is create a collection box folder at the very top. So I like coding it double zero so it always shows up at the top. When you're not quite sure where to put a file or a folder or you're still getting organized with this process, you put all of it there. And then you have a daily or weekly time where you go through and you just clean it out and you put it in the correct places. It's a really nice way to ease into a management system and it also allows you to kind of tweak this business system to fit your needs. Now finally, I wanna quickly go over those tools that we use to support this business system because you definitely want tools that support your business system, not to make your business system around the tools that you're using. And so the number one tool, if you haven't noticed, is Google Drive. Of course, you could probably use Box or Dropbox, but I like Google Drive because for five bucks a month, you also get Google Calendar and Google Sheets and Docs, and of course, your own business email address, which is actually gonna help you with the second tool that I recommend, which is Asana. So when you sign up to Asana with a business email address, you have the upgraded ability to use Teams. So inside of Asana, we have a team for teams, which is a little redundant, but hey, we have a team for teams, then we have a team for content, we have a team for sales funnel, and we have a team for product. And so it makes sure that across our entire organization and everything that we're working on, those quadrants are consistent in our Google Drive, and they're consistent in Sana. And finally, they're also consistent in Evernote, which is the last productivity tool I definitely recommend. So that does it for the four quadrants of the digital business system. I'm curious to hear from you how you think this is going to be helpful to you or if you don't think this is going to be helpful to you go ahead and let me know in the comments section below and if you got some value out of this video go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe because over on the channel i'm documenting the entire process of what it takes to build an online business from scratch and of course making sure you have a solid file organization and management system to streamline your business processes like what we just went over is just one big piece of the bigger picture of being successful with your online business. So go ahead and hit that like button, comment below if you have any questions. And as always, keep building the business you love. Take care. <laughs>